Hey guys, Ryan here from thecoolerbox.com and this is my unboxing of the Coleman 38 litre or 40 quart wheeled cooler. I picked this up at the hardware store the other day and wanted to do an unboxing video. Now it didn't come in a box, it came with a sticker and so, but I will be going through the features of this cooler and my initial review and first reactions to this cooler. So straight away, the wheels. I love the wheels on this cooler. They're a decent amount of thickness. Um, and the handle, the long pull handle here, feels really nice and really easy to use. It's, it's quite fixed in there, it's quite strong and I don't feel like that's gonna break even when the cooler is completely filled. So, full. So that is a great feature there. If we have a look at the lid and we turn it down, we can see in the lid that we've got four cup holders here and these are quite deep these cup holders so when you put a beer or put a can of drink in there they're not going to fall out we also have a measuring tape on the front i'm not sure if you can see it in the video but we have inches and centimeters on there so that's a nice feature of the lid the hinge of the lid then we can just see this these 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 hinges look pretty cheap i must admit but if we go ahead and we open them up uh, then it seems to stay in place quite nicely. I'm not worried about it breaking or anything, but over time I feel like that would definitely be a point that could potentially break, uh, but it would be very cheap to fix if that did happen. Assuming that I could source the hinges, I might need to just source my own hinges if that ever happened in the future. But all in all, this cooler is looking pretty nice so far. The handles on the side are, you know, just molded in handles. So they don't, you, like it's kind of just flat. It's got a little bit of a molding underneath there. Nothing too exciting, but this cooler is very light. So it's very simple to carry, uh, very easy. These handholds are enough for what you need it for. And really it's got the wheels anyway, so you won't be using that as much as you would with other coolers. If we have a quick look at the drainage plug down the bottom, this is just a pop drainage plug. So it simply just pops out and then it pops back into place. So I'm feeling like that would be secure enough to hold in the water. It is quite a small drainage hole there. So it would take some time to drain out, but not a huge issue. So I don't know what you're expecting from something like this. Obviously it's not going to have the commercial grade gasket around the inside the rubber ones like the Yeti does or the Pelican. So it's just your standard plastic and it just kind of slots into place like that. And there's, there's a bit of friction there holding it in, but that's all it is, friction holding it in. So that's definitely not going to be airtight if that's something that you're after. Looking at the inside, nothing too fancy on the inside. We've got some indents here for obviously where the wheels are and then we've got a drainage spout down here. Now you will notice with the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the drainage spout's actually a bit higher than the bottom of the cooler. So you're talking about maybe half an inch or an inch higher than the bottom of the cooler. So that's not going to completely drain by itself, but it's such a light cooler, it's not gonna be hard to simply tip it upside down to drain out whatever is left in there. So this cooler looks fine in terms of insulation in the walls. Let's have a, let's have a quick measure of the insulation in the walls. So we've got about an inch of insulation in those walls, which is about half or less than half of what you get in a premium cooler. And in terms of the lid, that's where most of the insulation is. And you're looking at a bit over two inches of insulation in the lid. But then you have to remember that you've got these cup holders and basically it's just plastic between there. So you've got four points that have almost no insulation in the lid. So I am not confident that this will keep ice for a long time. When I do my tests, I will likely do them here inside. So I can imagine that this is gonna keep ice for two to three days in premium inside controlled conditions. If I was out in the wild or out camping or something like that on a hot day, I'd imagine that this would keep ice for one day, maybe two days max. But I will be putting it to the test against a whole bunch of different coolers. So we will see how it performs in the future. But that's it guys, that's 
that's all you get from these coolers. These are super cheap to buy. Uh, you may not get this exact one that's 40 quarts, but you can find Coleman coolers all over the place. Wheeled coolers, you can get them on Amazon.com. I will put the link below if this is something that you're interested in. You can get them on Amazon for super cheap. You're looking at like less than $40. They're very cheap. So if you're just looking for a run-of-the-mill cooler, this is going to be fine. It's going to do the job. It's not going to be super expensive. It's not going to keep ice really long, but it is strong enough to sit on, strong enough to stand on. Maybe don't jump on it because it may break. But all around, it's a basic and a good cooler, and the wheels are a great feature. So it just makes it easier to move it around your campsite or your barbecue area or wherever it is you're using it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe below. And if you want to get this, then there will be links below to Amazon, which is our affiliate link. So if you go through that, I absolutely appreciate it. So that is it from me today, guys. That's my unboxing of this Coleman wheeled cooler, 38 liters or 40 quart. Good luck in hunting for your cooler. And until next time, stay cool.